tomorrow morning at 8. And for all the news from the world of golf, tune to Sports Center Daily on TSN. Tammy Herman from Maple Ridge, B.C. Michelle Johnstone from Regina. One of these two will move on to play Sandy Anderson for the $10,000 first prize in women's five-pin play, the Canadian Bowling Championships. 43 count through two for Tammy with a spare and then a 15 count. Now she punches the head pin. So both bowlers right now in the early going struggling a little bit to find the good shot, the good line down the lane that'll place the ball in the pocket. Tammy, a miscue back in two by missing that right corner. No ball. And just hands the opportunity back to Michelle Johnstone now. Okay, just ten count. So an expensive couple of frames. Oh boy. Okay, match is going to be all even through three pretty well. <laughs> Pick up some sticks here. She counted 12 on her last head pin. And looks like she might be in the same range on this one. This is where you have to have the mindset that your opponent just gave you an opportunity mm -hmm. to pick up some pins on. Her. And if you don't take advantage of it, well, shame wow. on you. Yeah. And now you just gave them back, which even compounded the error more. That's a seven count for a 39. It's a unique ability. I don't care what the sport is. Somebody who relishes being in this situation, whether it be the person on the end of the bench that the coach puts on the ice, or who in this situation wants it, the wants to be here and face this. Exactly. The Michael Jordan shot. Who do you want? I want the ball yep. when there's two seconds left, and I'll put it up. Back to back, head pins. So you gotta do the work now. Pick up the sticks. Your opponent has a strike working. As you saw there, she beat Tracy Anseth. Anseth, a, a great resume, former two-time winner, back-to-back -back winner of the TSN pins game. And now, five pins remain. 68 through four frames. A nice job to get all the pins. And they may come back to be a difference. You'd hate to think if I only gotten that 15 back in four, but it is now Michelle Johnstone. Advantage to her, she has a strike up in four. That's it. A more deliberate approach. Deliberate throw by Tammy Herman pays off with the strike. Good shot on this one. She just cranked it over a little bit. And now she's saying, hurry, stay on the outside. Gets the full shot. Big one here to answer back. Michelle Johnstone puts up back-to-back -back strikes. And she gets the mark in five. She rolls this one in. Her second strike now working on the foundation one that she has in four gets the pinfall back they're pretty much dead even at this point oh now wow moves it under her Found side a mark now that's three she's on her roll john stone now here's where it gets a little confusing for tammy if she didn't make an adjustment in five she went head pin head pin strike her opponent's got three in a row she needs to come in here she made the adjustment she did it at the right time 
If it was just a shot that she managed to hang on to long enough and it just got there, no, you get this result. Yeah, that's three. That's three head pins now in four frames. And now she definitely has to do something. She's got to make some type of adjustment, get off that right on the nose shot, keep punching that head pin out. You'll go down in a hurry. Now she just punches the three through. That's what I said to you uh, on a previous uh, week. The adjustment is boards moving left or right, or is it the wrist? Is it where you release the ball? Some bowlers will move up on the approach a little bit, which causes them to slow down because the approach is a little shorter. The ball will track over a little quicker. Some people recognize that they haven't thrown their best ball, but they've punched. Other people, it's squeezing it a little bit. I gotta just loosen that grip up. I gotta be, you know, it's like getting on that narrow fairway. First thing you wanna do, right, is tighten your grip. That's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. Gets a break out of this one. Opportunity for a spare. Tammy's husband, Bob, former pins game champion. We'll see Bob in men's play in a few weeks. Oh, oh, oh. she was leaning oh, on that one, yeah. managed to carry it. Brought it back. Now Michelle will watch for her not speeding up. We've uh, gotten to know Mr. Johnstone very well. Richard Johnstone, that's Michelle's dad. Been her uh, biggest fan. Big count on that one. Gives her the 43 back through five. Her lead now through the first five frames, 36 pins. An opportunity to add some more to it here. With the conversion now, she has 157 through six frames compared with Tammy's 104. Both ladies, spares working in seven. Michelle to lead off as we approach the close of the game. Oh, good. Looked like she might get caught on that left corner, but pin spun over throwing a much easier ball. It's rolling so much nicer and she's getting the carry. This one tracks down the lane. Good lift on it. The arm stays up a whole lot longer. Remember how we saw that in the other week? She started dropping it. Now you gotta answer back with that. Just her second strike of the game, Tammy Herman. Down by 53 pins. Matches up strikes in eight. And now Sets it up with the ninth. Still an opportunity here. She's got a possible 269. Wow. Nice adjustment. Very nice. Really was full, though. And you can see the look over to Bob go, what are you supposed to do? I just, I'm getting it now of all times. Well, that was the big shot because she got the double working now in eight and nine and got that foundation strike in the ninth. Michelle still has to work here. Oh, that's a break. Huh? No string. Bad break for Michelle. Good break for Tammy. That's good cover. Good conversion. Taking a little bit more time here. Oh, flung that one way off to the left, and she really could have used that first strike. It's dropped her game now. She can make the spare and throw a strike on it for 267. Tammy Herman can bowl 269. Striking, striking out. out. Yeah. Got the spare? Yes, she does. So that's a nice recovery. Now looking, as uh, Greg says, the strike. So rolls this one through, manages to convert for the spare. That was huge. Now, really stack the pressure up here if you can. No. She doesn't. 
Thank so the 2-5-7 final score. Tammy Herman needs the first strike here. And now Michelle can do nothing but just sit and watch, wait. But the door is open. And it was opened in the ninth and then in 10 again. Tammy has responded with strikes in eight and nine. Here's an all important count. What is the first right. one? This one sets it up now. Throws this strike, brings her total up to 254 and then needs anything more than a three count. Everything else out of your mind. Hit the spot, follow through. Got it. She's thin. She's thin on it. And Michelle Johnstone will move forward to play Sandy Anderson. The 257 will stand up. The best that Tammy can do is 244. Wow. Great comeback, though. Strikes in 8, 9, and the first one in 10. And just a little miscue on that second one for 239. Tammy Herman will bowl the 239 as Michelle Johnstone sputters in 9 and 10, but survives a 257 to 239. And so Michelle Johnstone will play Sandy Anderson for the $10,000 first prize here in the Canadian Bowling Championship.